that is the power of flow again uh, you can send an email, you can fetch information from the user, you can create a feedback form, you can show the success screen without writing any single line of code. Hi guys, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel. So if you're first time here, so let me tell you this is the flow series that I have started and we have done two episodes already. So uh, in the previous episodes, I have described all the elements of the flow, basically the description, the introduction of the flow. And in the second episode, we uh, gave the user a feedback form. And after filling that feedback form, we have shown the user a success message. So what we are going to do today is we are going to send an email to that user after they fill the feedback form. So if you want to see the previous step, like how we created the feedback form and how we created the screen element, you can uh, prefer the previous episodes. I'll link it here and I'll uh, link it down below as well. So now without any further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you're first timers here or if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please click on the subscribe button below. It will be really awesome and it will support me. So uh, Click the button below, press the bell icon so every time I upload a video, you get notified. Now let's jump in the video. Okay, so as you can see, this is the flow screen. Basically, this is the list of flows that we have already created. Now we can click on our flow, which is screen element example. And we can see our flow builder on which we have added two screens. One is feedback form screen and one is the success screen. Now what we have to do, we have to do is we have to send an email to the user like a feedback form thank you email to the user. So what we'll do is we can add the action element, the second element in the interaction part. So let's drag the action element here. So on action element, now uh, there are several types of actions. So we'll select email. Let's go down and select email. On email, now what we have to do is we have to click on actions and select send email. Okay. After that, we have to fill these uh, fields like uh, thank you email template. API name will be created. This email will be sent to user after they fill the feedback form okay so the description is must uh, if you'll add the description it will be easier for other developer or your client to understand why why you're sending this email now we have to set up some input values so the first value will be body the main mail body which we want to send to the user right so we'll click on it and we'll click on new resource because we uh, don't have any body for now so we'll create a new one and for resource type, we'll click on text template. So we want to create a template. So we'll click on text template. And now let's add an API name, email. Mm -hmm. Thank you, API will be great. This is the email body. Okay. <clears throat> now in the body section, in the body section, you will write whatever you want to send the email like a uh, Dear this, 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 thank you for your email. We'll get back to you soon, that kind of thing. So let's write that. We'll add dear. Now what I want is, I want to add the first name of the user that uh, he or she have added in the feedback form previously. So let's take the value from the previous form. So for that, we'll click on new resource, sorry, insert a resource. And uh, here you can see it is uh, written email. Click on that. Now we can select the first name very easily. So it is dear name dot first name now. Okay, let's add a comma and add thank you for your feedback form. Here you can write anything that you want to send that a user. Thank you for your feedback. We'll get back to you soon. Back to you soon. Um, regards. Team. okay now we can uh, basically send this or we can customize it more so let's bold the text so dear this name you can change the color also you can do anything that you want so i'll just click on bold and for the regards as a pc team i'll click on bold again now this is the perfect email template for me you can customize this according to you of course now let's click on done and the body is done now let's see if we have to add a subject so let's write thank you for your feedback 
okay subject is very very important because some users just uh, read the subject then they decide they want to uh, like ignore the email or they want to open the email so subject is very very important your subject have to be very particular about what are you sending in this email okay now for email address we have two examples here or like two options here first is email address collection as you can see and second is email address comma separated so collection is for uh, as you can like see with the name that collection is for if you want to send this email to a group of uh, records like to a group of users you will use collection for that we'll take a collection variable and we'll add the collection variable here okay but we want to send this to a particular user so what we'll add is we'll add the comma separated one we'll include it and here we can add the email address so uh, here again we want to add the email address from the previous feedback form so let's see this is the feedback form screen uh, email and value so this is the email address we have taken from the feedback form okay now this is a very important part a rich text formatted body so let's not include it for now i'll uh, show you another example of how to include it and what will be the difference in both the emails now for these uh, sender address and sender type these are really not required so let's skip that and click on that so our action element is done now we can send an email to the user after they submit a feedback form but what about this connection that we have already created we have to broke this connection right so what we'll click is what we'll do is we'll click on this and we'll click the delete button so the connection is broken now now we can add the action element here let's drag it and let's keep the action in between and now we'll connect the feedback screen to the action screen now after that we can show the success screen so after action we'll connect the action to the success screen okay now flow is done first the user will fill the feedback form second the action will be done in the background and third they will see the success screen okay let's save it and activate it if you want to use the flow you have to activate it okay now let's go back to our uh, application that we have already created in the app launcher uh, let's select flow series and on flow series we have our flow added already so we just have to fill that and here's our flow let's fill it I want the email on this email address so I'm writing that okay and we'll click on next now on clicking on next the action will be performing in the background uh, meanwhile we'll see the success screen okay now if I go back to my email and I'll refresh it and here's the email so this is from my email address because that was my uh, org so my email address and my name will be there and this is our template like the template that we have created now uh, I'll show you why this P tag and B tag is here. This is a basic HTML format that we have already created. Now, if we don't want to show these tags, we'll go back to our flow. Let's go back and double click on action. Now, let's include the rich formatted body. Okay. If we'll include it, uh, we can see the body in the rich format. If we'll not include it, we'll see the body in the basic text format. Okay. So for including it, we'll click on the include button and here we'll select true. True basically true and false. This is true or this is false. So we'll select it true and done. Now let's save again and activate it. Okay, let's go back to our flow, refresh it. And now I'll show you the difference. Let's fill it again. next let's go back to our gmail and check the email so here's the email now you can see uh, our text in the rich format that we have created okay so that is the difference if you want to send the text in the text format uh, you don't have to include the rich formatted text and if you want the rich body you have to include that okay 
so that is the difference here is our email you can write whatever you want in this email and the email was so quick right or uh, you have just click on the next and the email was here so that is the power of flow again uh, you can send an email you can fetch information from the user you can create a feedback form you can show the success screen without writing any single line of code so that is the uh, reason why flow is very very powerful nowadays i hope you guys like this video and you guys like this example let me tell you uh, flow is easy but flow can be tricky sometimes also but if your basics are clear because uh, because of that i'm uh, taking the basics very seriously like i'm creating the basic example separately so if your basics are clear you can ace the flow very easily so that is it for today i'll see you super soon in my next video of this series till then bye bye take care and keep learning